why I'm looking at the microphone. Hello! <laughs> right, vlog time. Uh, I'm sorry the vlog's up late this week. I'm just, ah, oh God, what a long arsed week. And to be perfectly honest, Thursday night and Friday night, I was knackered and couldn't be bothered. Um, my humble apologies if the volume isn't loud enough in this. For some reason, and, and I've got everything turned up to the max, um, the, the, the webcam that I use for doing the vlog uh, seems to have gone strange. Anyway, uh, hopefully you can hear me because I am talking louder. Uh, first things first, um, before I forget, before I forget, um, now somebody somebody posted on uh, Facebook and asked if the, the mailstorm or whatever you want to call it, and thank you to all these people that email me and message me and give me the correct pronunciation for various atties and mods. No is the answer. It doesn't. Well, that sucks. Um, let me just let let me just. Um, now then, now then, boys and girls, right? Right, I'm going to try this, try it, pop that, it's just popped it out just a, a little bit. Now, the, 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 the squonking pins... There we go! Right, so that was... Now, during the review for this, I did say that the, the, the pin did have to be make sure it was tight uh, to keep the the positive post in place. Now I've just backed it off a quarter of a turn. Now backing off the, the a quarter turn on this atty does then mean it fits onto the the one sixty. Um, let's have a quick VP VP on this. What's going on here? <laughs> That's um, juice, need juice, squonk. Um, that's because I've got the airflow fully open. I'm um, at a 0 0.22 build. I need, do you know this is this is all going wrong these days? What's happening to me? Um, I posted a photo yesterday uh, on Facebook of Chaz that I work beside, famous Chaz. Um, oh, sorry, TJ, I've got a biscuit for you there. There you go, pal. Good boy. Um, put a build. I'll come back to that. It's going to be a long one. Sorry. Here we go. Bloody hell. 80 watts. 80 watts. And yeah. Can I start again? I really need to start again. Um, my head is fried. Did you know that I've run out of goose juice? It's gone. It's empty. Look, it's empty. Oh, no, it's not. It's full again. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, happy days. Let's get this back on track. Right. The Mealstorm does work on the Kangar Squonker. Um, one thing I want to point out is on this Squonker, I did complain that trying to get the, the this bit off to get the bottle down was a pain in the ass. Muppet. Um, grab the bottle, just pull it down and look. It's a bit dark in here, isn't it? And you can see that it just comes off like that. Push the bottle back up and doink. I will say that as much as I am not a fan of Kanga, I, I haven't been for a long time, um, I think I've seen this go for silly money. I've, I've, I've seen with read on various forums and whatnot using discount codes and, and things like that in the UK. Um, I think it was, was it Totally Wicked had a discount code and you could get it for £35, £40. I just, if I didn't have one that I got free for review, I would go and buy one. Um, I think it's an excellent squonker. I really, really do. I think it's an excellent squonker. Now, the atty that comes with it, uh, I just want to be clear again. I probably mentioned this already. Um, now, I can mouth along with it. Um, 
or a restricted lung hit, I will say, using the, the two mil air holes on either side. But I am getting used to using the the main air holes wide open, and I don't think it's a terrible RDA. Um, I really don't. I can get, depending on what kind of build I put in it, I can get good flavour from it, good vapour production, a lot. Um, so, for not a lot of money, I don't think, uh, or based on my circumstances, um, nah, yes, yes. Um, speaking about squonkers, right, um, I've not got a battery in it just now. Right, the copper vape. Um, now, here we go, let's do, this is something new for a vlog, new for a vlog. You can go along to alibabaland.com or is it alibaba.com forward slash copper vape, I think it is. I'll put a link in the description. I will, I'll, I'll do my best to remember to put a link in the description. Right, as this came to me, sent on free for review, came with this atty. Now this atty is being redesigned, okay? Um, so I would personally, would hold off for a little bit, or maybe not. The atty is not the worst atty under the sun. I've had a few problems with mine, as in the top cap being too loose. It's got these silly windows on it, which I just think is completely batshit crazy for a dripper. Um, yeah, I'm not a fan of it as such. It does work. You have to do a really low resistance build on it, but I'm not a fan. However, in saying that, I do have and it's up the stairs beside the bed. Ah, crap. I got a BF pin from a Tsunami from Vapor Z, um, and I've been using it on this, and it's been tremendous. You can buy this for, including the Atty, for about £18. I don't know how much delivery is, but about £18, and as a mechanical squonker, I think that's just bloody awesome. I think that's a great deal. I'm, I'm, I am excited. I'm, I'm excited at the fact that you can get cheap squonkers, and I hope more people just try it out. Now, I'm going to cut to an up close on this squonker, uh, and um, the next two three minutes will be an, an up close look at it. So here we go. The finish on this, the finish is I, on mine is actually fine. I've not had any issues with it. I have read in some of the forums, people, other people that have got them, the silver maybe didn't match top and bottom, um, or the paint's been flaking off, so it's not, you know, from what I've read, it's not been stellar. I can only go, you know, give you my honest opinion of what I have, and mine has been actually fine. 510 up here, uh, the 510 is deep. Now, I wouldn't say that all your squonking atties are actually going to work in this. Uh, there is a fix for it, which is not perfect, but it can be done. Basically what you do is just pull that, I mean this is where your, your bottle is. If you want to fill your bottle, it just unscrews there, and you just fill it up with juice, and away you go again. But the actual, the bottle, this bit here, you'll see there that that's actually going to turn. This is actually attached straight to the squonking pin. Uh, right, there we go. So you can see there's your squonking pin there. So what you can actually do is pop that out. It'll just pop out like that. And put, you'll find, uh, strangely enough, in your pack of spares for the atty, there's a little white washer there. Uh, sorry, a little white o-ring. There it is, there. Take that, stick it underneath the, the pin, pop it back down, and then screw it all back together. And you will find that that raises the 510 a bit and uh, and seems to solve most issues. Now, it's a 10ml bottle of juice. It, it doesn't come with a spare bottle, uh, but I think it's a compatible. Yeah, it's like your Decang bottles. I think they are the same. Uh, we've got a couple of magnets here. I would stress that you keep these plates clean and the contacts clean. Uh, and you can see here that you've got a firing switch, and you can put this to off, which locks it, and you have an on. 
couple of holes in here for your magnets and this just clicks down on there. Now I have found with mine that um, it can sometimes when I put it down it doesn't make a, a totally flat connection and when it doesn't it won't fire. I actually have to make sure that it's properly seated and then it fires no problem at all. Battery is held in here you just unscrew that. The threading is absolutely fine. I've no issues with the threading on this at all. Just comes out like that. Battery falls out the bottom and that's you. Another thing I want to point out is the way that the switch works here uh, is quite strange. If your bottle isn't tightened straight onto this pin, if it isn't like good and tight and there's any movement then it, the connection gets kind of screwed up and so there's, it doesn't spring properly. Uh, the, the actual return on the switch is the bend in this plate here. So the tension in this here returns the switch to the off position. If this side here is a bit loose then it means that it just stays flat. So be careful, make sure that that screw is done up tight battery doesn't come out the top, it's stuck in there, drop that back in and that's you, you're good to go. So just to clarify again, you know, it, it's not perfect but you know if you're squonking at it, it doesn't make a connection with that, you can you can raise it using that little o-ring and that's what I've done a couple of times. Right, back up top with it now, I've got the, the supplied atty that comes with it on just now and And, and it does, it does vape away and you can squonk away and yeah. Now, the bottle's a bit in the stiff side. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure it's like a decang 10 ml bottle of juice fits as well. Um, the, this is aluminium. This is all aluminium um, with copper plates in it and whatnot. Uh, the conductivity on this is superb. This really does perform well. For what is it, £18, this uh, is just... The only thing I have to say to you is the, the 510 pin um, is quite deep, as I said in the up close stuff. That's the, That may possibly be the major negative. You may have to use a little o-ring to get it to go a bit higher. Um, make sure the bottle's tight or you can get the fire button to stick down if it's not tight. That's a negative as well. Uh, aside from that, for £18, uh, and I don't know what the, the you know how much it costs to ship over, uh, I think it's Mighty fine. Yes, I really, really do. Um, now, what else have we got going on here? Uh, I'm going to take the battery out of here because I'm too lazy to lean behind me and go and get another battery. This is what happens when you're approaching 47 years old. Yes, next month, 47. Oh my God. Um, now, I also received this little bad boy. Let's get... Now, remember the titanite? Tight, tight, titanite? Tight, yeah, the thing. Um, right, they've now uh, got an RDA, which they have sent on to me. Now, let's get that on. Now, Chaz, that I was mentioning, famous Chaz with the beard. Um, I got juice in this. Let's, where's my juice? Let's get some gus juice. Gus juice. There we go. And pop this in. Now, Chaz put a build in this for me because I said just with the wire that we had in the shop, go and stick a quick crazy build in it. And he did. He put in a, a 0.15, I think it was. So, this is the. This RDA is called the. The thing, the um, Prima, the Prima, uh, which, I, which I feel like I should be saying with an Italian accent, not a French one, but anyway, there we go. Now, quick vape. Now, I'm getting good flavour from it, and somebody said... It looks a bit like an Aeolus light, the way it works inside, which it does. 
Now, I've, it's got top airflow, um, and you can adjust the airflow ring at the top, which is where it kind of falls down. Now, this is made from titanium, titanium top, stainless steel uh, base, um, four post. It's not a velocity deck. Woohoo! Um, but to adjust the airflow, now I've emailed them because I'm hoping I've got this wrong because if I haven't got this wrong, and this is the way it works, it's just, for me, it's just a major flaw. Now, if you want to adjust the airflow, let's let's get this up closey. Right. Are we up closey? Go up closey, please. Move this button. There we go. Right. Let's change the airflow. You see it's fully, it's almost fully open just now. Right. You have to unscrew this. See how it's now spinning, it's moving about. Right. The the drip tip is actually threaded onto the the airflow ring. Now, if you try moving the airflow ring to the position you want it in, and then screwing this back down, <laughs> caught it, caught it, caught it. Um, then it moves, which is a pain in the backside. So what you have to do is get the airflow ring in the right position, stick your finger up inside there to hold it in place and then screw the drip tip back down and that, that holds it in position. Which then means I have a finger covered in e-liquid, which sucks. Um, I, I am one of these people that likes to move my airflow about. Uh, I have said in the past that on RTAs I tend to set it and leave it, but on drippers I tend to move it from time to time, depending on the time of day and how much of a hit I want. So I've emailed them asking for clarification on this. I can't see how else it's going to work. Um, and, and, and it's a shame because I think it's a brilliant little dripper, but just that is a flaw. I think that's a flaw. Um, speaking of flaws, um, it's getting a bit cloudy in here. Um, I've also emailed Enikin on this bad boy. Now, the the Coolfire TC18650, I am enjoying using, and I have, my only complaints with it are, I'm not a fan of the buttons. Uh, I prefer the buttons on the, the older version, which is also in the house um anyway um but it looks like the battery cuts out at 3.6 volts which i think is a bit i don't know that's a bit high um it, it does mean that when you're vaping away uh you're not getting a lot you there's more power in the battery you could it could have longer run time in my opinion and cutting it off at 3.6 volts is just too high. I think it's too high. Um, and it's the same on both of the ones I've tried. Um, and I'm waiting to hear back from Georgia Inneker on that. And if that's the way it's got to be, that's the way it's got to be. But I will make that clear in the review. Um, Vapy time. Yep. Still tastes of nothing. Tastes of nothing. I, I, just if anybody has the Cubis Egret Two coils and they're getting great flavour out of it, please get in touch and tell me how you're doing it because I'm I'm getting jack shit out of this. I really am. Let's try it a little bit higher. Let's zero point five ohm coil. Oh, that's just bump. Um, I, 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 nah. Not enjoying those coils at all. At all. Um, the R150 that came from um, Hot Sig. Really enjoying using this. Really enjoying it. I'm not going to run it under a tap anytime soon like they seem to do. Um, let's find an Atty. Let's pop on. Oh, let's pop on this. Because I have to show you this as well. This is the, the Metropolis by Atom. This was sent on to me by Grey Hayes for a plug. Go ahead, switch on. It's a new coil, yes. Yes. Here we go. Right. Um, 
In here, the tank, a 22mm tank, has an overhang. It overhangs on the lip here. So that the mod cut curves down like that, and this just overhangs, which I think is a, a flaw. But I, I just, why didn't they move the 510 back? Just a ball here, and that way your tanks would be completely flush on the mod. I did email them, and um, yes, they didn't seem to have an issue with it, which might just be me, but there you go. The tank, um, now, this is going to be about, I think, about £18. It's basically a sub-tank. Um, let's, let's, let's try and do it up and closely again. So, it's, that's actually Pyrex glass. So, it's like an old Kanger sub-tank with a bell cap. Uh, the whole thing's glass up the top here and all the way down here. Uh, and it comes with a 24 karat gold plated coil. It's a Clapton. Uh, it comes with a spare glass as well, but no spare coils. But you can pick up Kanger coils from anywhere these days. Um, airflow fully open. It's quite a restricted lung hit. Not mouth to lung restricted, but as far as <gasps> goes, it's a bit restricted. Flavour isn't half bad though. It's not half bad. And uh, that's me running at 40 watts and that. Um, so thank you to Grey Hayes uh, for sending that on. Uh, it's meant to be Art Deco inspired. Now I'm a big Art Deco fan and um nah, I'm not seeing it. I'm not uh, maybe that much, but not a lot. Um so the R150 review will be coming before long. Um, and also, uh, that'll be that. I'll not be doing a review on that tank. I just said that I would show it off and give my thoughts, which I've done. Um, I'll, I'll sort out a giveaway soon for one of these uh, limited edition uh, cool fire chromes. Um, with uh, my screaming chicken or phoenix on it with Todd reviews, I'll I'll chuck a couple of these out to folk. Um, I really like it. I, there's no two ways about it. And I think the I sub V five is a great little tank. It really is. But I've said that all along. I think the I subs are good. No. Um, now, <sighs> why do this? Right. My bearded little friend, who's just updated his room, or moved rooms, Dean the Vaping Biker. Right, I was talking to Dean, and um, basically I got offered the Ohm Slice um, to review. It takes a single 26650, um, and this is the mod that the previous, the G2, was it? The G2 that... Um, Temp control and cancel, and there was a lot of hoo-ha about it, and and so on and so forth. Um, they sent me an email, and I said no, I was well, I was going to reply back saying no, I wasn't going to review it. But then I was talking to Dean, and Dean came up with this great idea. I said, well, why don't you just, you know, take it, get it, read the manual, and film your initial setup in temp control? I thought that's a great idea. I just a dummy trying to do temp control with Canfall for the first time just following the instructions supplied. So I did that, but I didn't film it because I was at work and I was playing. Um, and, and basically I set it all up as described following the instructions in the manual, push the button, poof, flames. Changed the FSK, uh, took the atty off, put it back on, wet it, flames and I have not spent any time with it since then because basically I wanted to throw it through a wall. Now I'm not writing it off right now um, because I will sit down and I will spend a lot more time with this and see if it works or not or see if I can get it to work or not. Um, In my 
humble, humble opinion, and this is just my humble opinion, um, I think the days where people strive to get temp control working with Canfil are gone. I don't see the point in it anymore because you have stainless steel wire. And stainless steel wire will do temp control, no problem at all, and it'll do regular power wattage mode, no problem at all. It'll do both. So this faffing about with the uh, Canfil, and from all the videos I've seen and everything I've read and whatnot, it's it's flaky as hell. Um, I don't see the point in it. I just don't. But but I'm not going. But that's that. I'm not going to dismiss it entirely. Uh, I might be able to get it to work. You never know. Stranger things have happened. Um, now, sorry, I'm just waiting for the phone here because my car is in getting its MOT. <sighs> I hope it passes. I've had my little car for about seven years now. The longest I'd ever had a car before was about six months. I used to change my car. I was worse with cars than I was and am with e-cigs. Um, but I've got a little Toyota Altezza and, and I love it to bits. It's my little, it's my baby. Uh, so I'm just hoping it passes. Because, uh, well, yeah. Um, right. Oh, two seconds. Back in a minute. Stretch! Right. <sighs> that was my weak attempt at doing a Wookiee. Now, I really like the Stratum. I think it's awesome. It's a ridiculous, ridiculous price. Um, it really is. I mean, even second hand, you're still paying 350 quid for these things, if you can find them. Uh, but and, and it's an old board in it, but the board works so well and single 18650 and it's tiny um it's out of there and you know it, it's just it feels like it came out of christmas cracker it, it, yeah but in saying that it's just so simple and i think it's, it's one of my favorite mods now uh, i'm really impressed with it so thank you to april um, I went and bought another one um, because I do like them that much. I really do like them that much. Uh, so, and I now have two. Yay! Um, and I also have this one, which is, and I mentioned this last week, this is the Star Plat one that the, the other modder did, the Stratum R um, battery. My kingdom for a battery. Um, now, how have I been getting on with the star plat chip? Very well. Very, very well. I'm suitably impressed with it. Um, I like the way it performs. I like the way it handles temp control. I love the battery life from it. Uh, it's got a lot of good things going for it. It really does. Um, you know, about 50 watts just does me fine. Uh, open circuit. I need an atty. Um what can I put on this? Oh, let's put this. Let's put this on because this, this is. You can't go wrong with an Origin. Origin Dripper. Is this the V2 or V3? This is the V2. Right. There we go. What map? No, I don't know. So there we go. There's just a little screen there. Um. It's just a very, very simple board. Um, and I'm, I'm, I, I do wish there were more mods that were using this board. Um, I really do, because I, I, I do enjoy it. The guy from Hypnostick did get in touch and said that we want to send one on for review. Um, I don't know if that'll go into the pile of modders that contacted me and then I never heard from again, but because um, there's a few, uh, but, but we'll wait and see. If one does arrive, I would be, oh, I'd be awesome because I really do like the look of the hypno stick. I got to use marks and it was very, very cool. Um, now I am out of things to show you. My Bratis mod. If you're on my Facebook page, you'll see I've got an album uh, showing pictures of my mod being created from scratch. Um, 
that has been posted and should be here in about two weeks. Um, oh, it's nice. It's very nice uh, and it's very different for me in the way it looks. Um, I'm not a huge resin fan and I'm not a huge fan of purple and mods, uh, but I think this is going to be nice. And Wayne's are pretty dedicated, very passionate about what he's doing and that appeals to me. That, I, I like it when a modder gets excited about shit like that. Um, if he's not excited about what he's doing, then you know, why would he be doing it? Um, well, the money for a lot of them, but uh, no. Uh, oh, I also bought... Oh, this has been just such a silly week. Come to daddy. Um, I bought this. I uh, bought this second hand. This is the Marabu, Marabu, or whatever they want to call it. It's the mechanical mod version of my... You know, I've got the Continental uh, Unity DNA 40 mod. Well, this is the mechanical version of it. It's a single 26650, and it's a bit smaller, uh, but I do like it. Oh, I do like it. I like it a lot. Um, there's nothing else up there to show you. I did the review on the Odd Box, which is something else I bloody love. Um, and that's it. That is it. Now, videos. What videos have I been watching? Not a lot, actually. I've not been watching a lot. Oh. <laughs> Remember my old man fell off a hill or a mountain um, got airlifted and and that's how he's recuperated now eventually well that's me just got a message from him he's away up a bloody hill again he's a loony, he's an absolute loony um, love him to bits daft old bugger uh, right, uh, videos I have been watching No, I've not been watching my own videos. That's uh, subscriptions. Um, <laughs> oh, congratulations to Matt and V from Suck My Mod for uh, getting over the 100,000 subscribers and getting their little trophy from YouTube. Congratulations, guys. And congratulations on the other scale to Vaping Vic for getting 5,000. Um, Awesome for everybody, all round. Uh, I was laughing this morning. Maybe I shouldn't say this, but uh, Matt did his review in the Centurion 26650. And I love the fact that he used porn music in the background the whole time. Seriously, I was waiting for a plumber to come walking in um, at some point and things to kick off. Um, and... <laughs> It does, it sounds like porn music playing in the background. I'm, I'm going to say that. Uh, I watched uh, I watched uh, Vaping Biker doing his Troll V2 review. I watched uh, Inky Vapor doing his Fat Daddy upgrade kit uh, for the Noisy Cricket. Uh, I watched a bit of the Ideal Ohm show, but I fell asleep halfway through it uh, because I was tired, not because it was boring as hell, honestly. Um... What else have I been watching? I watched uh, Vape and Vic and Ruby Roo's reviews on the Troll V2 as well, uh, just to make sure that it wasn't just me that... Um, I honestly, the whole air hole slot thing, you know, you got them like that and like that, ones for clouds, ones for flavour. <laughs> Nobody else seemed to think they were, that worked like that either, so... Um, watched the Ideal Ohm Show, not the Ideal Ohm Show, watched the Plumes of Hazard. Uh, who seemed to take great delight in taking the piss out of me and putting magnets on my box mod back to front. Shower of Bampots. Bloody Americans, that's all I can say. Um, and, and that's all I've been watching. Uh, I tell you what I did get, I got the... Um, Mark came to the, the shop to pick up some gear. I sold my little Hellfire Squonker. Um, to him and uh, he came into the shop and he gave me a shot of his k fun v5 strange fully open um for me the vape was perfect fully open it was just right on where i like to be it's just like the crossover between mouth to lung to lung hits there's a bit in the middle and that's where i like to vape and and yeah really really nice i was quite impressed um, and I also got a shot of his uh, the new billet box 
the draw on that was just a tiny little bit tighter, but was still acceptable for me. And I'm just, like I say, I've got money set aside. I'm just waiting on them. Um, those crazy Greeks uh, at mystique.gr I, I, I really I hope they're getting them in because as soon as they get them in I'm going to buy one um, because I know I'll get I'll get caught if I bought for, if I buy from and I know you can buy them from billet box direct uh, but I'll get smashed on um, you know import and then the Royal Mail will also hit me in import fees and things like that here's the thing uh, I don't do politics. I'm not a fan of doing the politics, and this is just a you know fat bloke in a shed talking shite. Uh, you don't want to hear me talking about politics. Um, but if we leave the EU, does that mean that I mean we get a lot? I get a lot of vape gear from in the EU. I buy a lot of vape gear from in the EU. Does that mean that we're going to start getting hit with customs? It must do, doesn't it? We'll still we'll get hit by customs. Huh. Um, that's a bit of a bummer. Uh, right, I'm thinking that you guys may have had enough of me talking mints. Uh, Google Calendar, what's coming up? Oh, I've got the Vape Droid coming. There's a new Vape Droid coming out. I think it's uh, going to be a bit more mass-produced, uh, this one. So I've got one of them that's going to be dropping through the door. Uh, the Bratis I told you about, um, the Limitless 200, Limitless Box Mod, it's coming. The Hussar, uh, I think that's getting knocked out because there's been delays there. Um, is that it? I see, I was going to do the Cool Fire this weekend. I might bump that out and do something else instead. Um, yes, we'll wait and see. Um, that's it. Nothing else to tell you. Um, what's been happening? Oh, Segeli, Segeli 213. It would be rude of me not to mention it. Everybody's going gaga over the fact that the Segeli 213 doesn't do 213 watts. No shit, Sherlock. <laughs> no shit, Sherlock. That's <laughs> just. Yes, we've, we've all been saying for ages that, uh, you know, you just, you're not going to get 230 watts out of two 18650 batteries. It's not going to happen. Um, so don't, you know, yes, there, there are a bunch of lying scumbags for putting that on there, but there's a lot of mods out there that have been doing this for a long time, saying that they're putting out X amount of power, and you don't get that power. Um, and myself and other reviewers have been saying, don't expect it. You know, don't expect it. Um... Yeah, that's all I'm saying on that one. Uh, it was a bit shitty what they did, that's that's for sure. But, um, vape drama equals subs. Let's not forget that. Um, right, that's me. I'm going. I will be... There may be changes afoot. There may be changes afoot. Um, yes, I'll leave it at that just now. I will... Possibly, possibly, um, I've still to make a decision. Um, I am booked up review wise and right into August. I've probably got enough here to keep me going till the end of August. I think I am going to close the doors and taking more stuff in just now um, until I decide what I'm doing. Uh, I have to start. I, I mean, I'm down to two reviews a week. About two reviews a week in the vlog, and it's starting to um, I work full time. I work full time Monday to Friday, and uh, and 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 I'm getting to the point where I'm thinking that uh, yeah, I want to spend more time with my missus. Um, I don't want her to be a shed widow or a vaping widow, um, and yeah, I just and it's coming to the uh, summer. Well, no, it's supposed to be the summer. And I would like to be spending more time uh, out playing and doing other things. Uh, so I may be winding it down a little bit and doing a review every couple of weeks, three weeks, that kind of thing. I'll need to wait and see. Need to wait and see. I'm not sure just now. 
I shouldn't have said that. Anyway, right, guys, have an awesome weekend, what's left of it, and uh, we'll see you in the new week. Take care, guys. Bye now.